From the moment I knew you, I was in love with you. From the moment I loved you, I wanted to share my life with you. I did not write any of that. <laughs> Rather, that's what was on the first love, love letter you ever wrote me. The same letter where you listed the top 75 things and reasons why you loved me. I just want to highlight a couple of those 75 reasons. And I quote, I love you for your intelligence, your awesome hair, the annoying fact that you are right 90 plus percent of the time, and your incredible big heart. What you failed to note in that letter though, is that I am those things because of you. And anyone here that knew me before I met you can attest to that. You've made me a better person. You've pushed me and challenged me to be the best version of myself. Amidst the whirlwind of emotions and moments you are experiencing this weekend, I want you to hold on to this moment. Remember that everyone traveled here today because they are moved and inspired by your love. No sprinkles. <laughs> These two lovebirds met at work when Ryan was her boss. <laughs> Not her direct boss, but you know. <laughs> get your, can I get your tie on too, buddy? Yup! The sound Ryan makes when MC creeps up on him all the time and gets all of it on footage every time. <laughs> This was it. This is the one I did not yeah. expect it to be because I thought it was going to be like form fitting yeah, and you know, yeah. tiny. Yeah. And I feel great. Wow. You look this is so pretty. pretty. Quite a dress. Yeah. It's actually really tight. What I like about them as a couple is that it feels very much like a partnership, like they are partners in life, experiencing the world together. And that sort of balance of we're partners, but there's equality and we're independent, and that's uh, that's really beautiful and rare and hard to find. First little hope. These are really pretty. Oh, wow. This is a good, good one. one. Yeah. This is a great yeah, one. It's mm -hmm. <laughs> From the very beginning, uh, it was very clear that you were definitely the girl that he'd been waiting for and looking for, and you're perfect for him, so I'm really happy for you guys. No. Well, you look beautiful. <laughs> Happy How wedding day, oh, honey. I love you. you. You are such a better person now that MC is a part of your life. You really are. Oh, that fits so perfect for her. Talking with MC, she described first meeting Ryan. She laughed as she recalled him walking down the hall in his faded jeans and don't feed the bunny t-shirt. <laughs> she thought to herself, who is this guy? Her quick assessment sized him up as the cute, somewhat nerdy, boss with the Wisconsin accent and funky graphic tees. They didn't interact much at work until one day when she walked into his office to borrow the company credit card and realized she couldn't formulate a real sentence. <laughs> From that moment on, it was clear she was a goner. Looks so good. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you? Wow. You look so good. Wow, babe, you look amazing. That's so pretty. Whatever you're doing. Oh, you look so beautiful. You look so good in your suit. Can I'm I kiss sorry. you or no? No, I yeah, guess I can't. Yes, you can. lucky to have each other as partners to learn by and continue bettering yourselves. Continue to really see each other and be vulnerable in sharing even the most disliked parts of yourself. You have a lifetime to learn how to best love each other. fallen in love with you again and again, countless times, without reservation, and I still can't believe that today I get to marry my best friend. Whew. You're an amazing man who brings out the best in me, while also keeping me on my toes. You are my rock and my biggest supporter. You are the best dog dad to Harvey Aspen anyone could ever ask for. In you I have found my soulmate, my best friend, my lover, my partner, and my safe place. I know this will not be easy, but I'll always be reminded from this day forward, I will
will encourage you, trust you, and respect you. I will be your safe place for when the world becomes too big and when you're beyond exhausted from a day's work. <laughs> I promise to create a home with you full of laughter and, and compassion without straws or plastic. <laughs> I promise to cheer for your team moving forward, the Green Bay Packers. Whoa. Oh. Thank you. That brings the tears. <laughs> you are my person. You are the love of my life, today and always. I wanted to share with you the top 76 reasons why I love you. But not all right now, because I know it's only a matter of time before Harvey tries to attack a squirrel. So I'll start with just the top three. Reason number one. I love you for how honest you are. Trust is the foundation of our relationship. It's the structure we build our life around. Good or bad, I always know where I stand with you, even if I am right 90 plus percent of the time. Reason number two, I love you for the passion you have for life. It's unwavering and un unapologetic. More than you know, your spirit for adventure and your desire to enjoy life fuels me. And like most things in life, this isn't seen in grand gestures or extravagance. Rather, it's seen in the mundane and trivial, in the days you wake up to your happy dance before you ever get out of bed, or the silly, sometimes incredibly real, sound effects you make at the most random times. <laughs> Every day, I see this passion you have for life more clearly, and my love for you grows more strongly. Reason number three, I love how much you love us. Our relationship isn't about either one of us individually. It's about both of us collectively. We look out for each other and know that we are stronger together than we could ever be apart. The ups and the downs, the good and the bad, you are always there for me. Today is the first day of the rest of our lives. I can't promise you that things will always be perfect. And try as I may, I can't give you everything you want, mostly because it's impossible to get all the tiny goats and dogs in the entire world on one farm. <laughs> but what I can promise you is that I will love you with everything that I have, honestly and passionately. There are 73 more reasons that I wrote why I love you. I promise that every anniversary, I'll give you three more reasons why I love you from my list so that by our 25th wedding anniversary, you'll have all 76 reasons. And each time I do, you'll be connected back to this moment and be reminded of the love that's here for you today from our friends, our family, Harvey, and from me. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. It is my absolute honor and with so much joy that I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ryan, you may kiss your bride. Friends, family, I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Jeffrey. I've never seen MC fall for a guy the way she fell for Ryan. She was beaming, she talked about him all the time. I have seen the loving chemistry between Ryan and MC on many occasions. From what I have observed, I am sure their union will be one for the ages. The support, the love, the family that we have here is because of you. I'm so amazingly happy that I get to spend the rest of my life with you. And thank you for putting this together because if this is any indication of what the rest of our life is going to be, it's going to be an amazing party. Now let's get to it, right? Cheers. I'm breaking down this wall.